Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very enjoyable problem for you all today. Uh, this one is from the 2009 Oral Moscow Team Math Olympiad, and it was posted on the Art of Problem Solving Forum by Parmenides. Uh, so thanks for posting it. Uh, so if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So we have the triangle ABC with AB less than BC. I is the in center. M is the midpoint of side AC. N is the midpoint of the arc ABC of the circumcircle. And we wanna show that angle IMA is equal to INB. So I posted a lot of very difficult problems recently on my channel. So this one is a little bit easier. I figured I'd mix it up. Um, but it's really only easy if you've seen some of the other things on my channel also. Um, so I'm going to go over my solution. All right. So we want to show that angle IMA is equal to angle INB. So one thing we can start out doing, and I think I may have done this in my first uh, problem on my channel, is we know that BI is an angle bisector of ABC. So it has to meet the circumcircle at the midpoint of the minor arc AC. So first I'm gonna just denote these three points of tangency. Um, but if we draw that angle bisector BI, the angle bisector of ABC, and we let it meet arc AC at point G, then G has to be the midpoint of arc AC. And that's useful because that means that G, M, and N have to be collinear. Okay, so I'm gonna write this out. So BI is an angle bisector of ABC. Uh, that means that G is the midpoint of arc AC because uh, equal angles intercept equal arcs. Um, so arc AG is equal to arc GC. Okay, and then by symmetry, G, M, and N have to be collinear. And not only that, G, N has to be perpendicular to AC. Okay, so N, M, and G are collinear. Uh, that's clear because N is the midpoint of arc ABC. And this still looks like the very first video I posted. Okay. So where do we go from here? Um, so we have the line IM uh, in the angle IMA. And this makes us think maybe we could try to take advantage of my video on the IM lemma. So if you haven't seen it, that's uh, video 65 on my channel. And uh, it comes in handy all the time. So here's just another application of it. So what I'm going to do here is, so if you watch that video, um, if H is the topmost point of the end circle, so in other words, that's where DI intersects the end circle, um, and then we draw the line BH and we let it intersect AC uh, at a point J. Then if you watch that video, we prove in it that DM is equal to MJ. So that's not the overall theorem of the video, but it's something we prove uh, in passing and it's used all the time. Okay, so if H is the topmost point of the end circle and we draw BH and we let it intersect AC at point J, then we have to have DM equals MJ. So I'm gonna write this out. Uh, this is something worth memorizing if you haven't seen it. All right, so how does that help us? It helps us because uh, since dm is equal to M mj and di is equal to ih, because they're both radii of the circle, then that means that im has to be parallel to bj. All right, so I'm gonna write that out. So since di is equal to ih and dm is equal to mj, we have im is parallel to hj. So this fact, I, I knew it, um, even before I started the problem, I knew that IM was parallel to HJ, okay? And that's helpful because we want to find angle IMA, but if they're parallel, uh, that would be the same as angle BJA, okay? Uh, so we want to show then that angle BJA would be equal to angle I and B, okay? Um, well, here is kind of my idea. Uh, if we look at this intersection point right here, uh, the intersection of NG uh, with BJ, so I'm, I'm going to label it. Um, but there's a symmetry in the figure here. So 
since dm is equal to mj, uh, that means hk has to equal kj. Um, so basically, k is the midpoint of hj. Um, and we have to have km is half of hd. And so km has to equal id. And so it's easy to see that ikmd is a rectangle. Okay. So this is what I mentioned. So hd is parallel to ng. That's clear because they're both perpendicular to ac. And so km has to be half of hd. Uh, that's because m is the midpoint of dj. So if m is the midpoint of dj and mk is parallel to hd, then km is half of hd, which is just id, because hi and id are the same. And so from there, we see that ikmd is a rectangle, because um, it has two right angles and id is equal to km, so that has to be a rectangle. And from there, we can conclude um, that angle um, IKN is 90 degrees. And it, we also have that angle IBN is 90 degrees. Um, so kind of my strategy in solving the problem is, uh, so we have angle IMA, as I mentioned before, that's equal to angle BJA, but uh, that's equal to the angle BKI. Um, now that we know that this is a rectangle, because that would mean that IK is parallel to JD. And so if we can show B and KI is cyclic, that would solve the problem, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Okay, so angle IBN, uh, that's part of angle GBN, which is 90 degrees, since GN is a diameter. Okay, um, so... So GN is a diameter by symmetry because G is the midpoint of arc AC and N is the midpoint of the bigger arc ABC. So GN is a diameter, so angle GBN is 90 degrees. And so angle IBN is 90 degrees. And we also know that angle IKN is 90 degrees because we just showed that IKMD is a rectangle. So from there, uh, if you look at the, this quadrilateral um, I, B, N, K. It has two right angles that are the opposite angles, and so it has to be cyclic. So I'm going to draw the circle around it, okay? And from here, we're very close to get to being there, um, because then angle I, M, A, uh, it's equal to angle B, K, I. Uh, that's clear because um, I, K is parallel to A, C, and B, K is parallel to I, M. So we have uh, angle IMA has to equal angle IKB because the two uh, pairs of sides in those angles are parallel. And angle BKI is equal to angle, or angle IKB is equal to angle INB because this quadrilateral is cyclic. And that solves the problem. So a little bit of a break from a lot of the harder problems I've posted recently, um, but still used a lot of, still use this key fact from video 65 on my channel. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.